So recently a friend of mine was interested in, get, interested in getting a Game Boy Advance, specifically the GBA SP, which is what I have right here. This being the SpongeBob AGS 101 model, which was a Toys R Us exclusive, by the way. And he was curious, you know, how Game Boy Advance in general, as opposed to just the SP, works. Uh, most people, myself included, recommend that you get the SP, and again, specifically the AGS 101 model, because, and this is referring to my friend specifically, uh, for those who don't know, the AGS 101 model is backlit. If you have a hard time seeing like I do, you want the backlit model, which the, uh, the backlight toggle switch is right here. On earlier models, this would turn the front lit screen off entirely. Like it would be either <clears throat> if you press it, if you press it once, it it'll have the uh, front light on. But if you press it uh, twice, if you press it a second time, I mean, it'll be off completely. Like you'll have no light whatsoever. Um, you notice you probably notice these two cartridges here as well as a, a GBA cartridge. This is actually because. Any Game Boy Advance, again, not just the SP, well, except for the Game Boy Micro. Every Game Boy Advance except the Game Boy Micro can play Game Boy and Game Boy Tower games. This is because when they were making the Game Boy Advance, I'm not sure if I can get it to show up, it might actually be, like, inside the system, like it's motherboard or whatever. They added this physical, they added, like, a physical switch so it would trigger, it would trigger whenever there was a Game Boy or Game Boy Tower cartridge in there. I bring this up because... Yes, I'm not sure if I ever told anyone this before, but they painstakingly checked every single Game Boy and Game Boy Tower cartridge before the GBA actually came out. This switch is not present in the Game Boy Micro, which is why I can't read these kinds of cartridges, for instance. Um, say... Sorry, pardon that. Say you start with with either a, a Nintendo 3DS or a Nintendo 2DS XL, and you're going backwards, which I believe is what my friend is doing. If you're familiar with things that, with uh, handhelds that have shoulder buttons, you still get those. You don't have the extras like ZL and ZL and uh, ZR. However, the GBA has a uh, standard D-pad layout. You know, I mean, a standard layout. You have your D-pad right there. Down there, start and select. Uh, above that, that's the uh, mono speaker grill. And you have A and B, again, the uh, backlight switch. And if we're talking about when playing Game Boy Advance games specifically, pardon me, because I'm doing this again with one hand, I've explained that before. Hold on. Let me put this down and uh, do it with both hands. Yes, I do. I mean, no, I don't. I still don't have a case for my uh, iPad. It was just my watch telling me what time it was. But no, I don't have a case for my iPad yet, so that's why I do that with one hand. Uh, one thing that I always take advantage of, you can do this on any Game Boy Advance, by the way, is when you turn on uh, a GBA and you have a Game Boy Advance cartridge in there, you can do that. That's normally for... The Game Boy Advance wireless adapter, I think. Someone please correct me in the comments. But I take advantage of that because then I like to put on... I like to put the backlight mod on. I mean, the backlight on. It's not mod, you know what I mean. I like to switch from uh, Brightness 1 to Brightness 2 is what I'm trying to say. And then I continue. I don't know if anyone else does that. But uh, as you can see, the screen is extremely bright. Uh, if you were to compare this side by side with a uh, Game Boy Advance SP AGS001, it is a noticeable difference. Since this is an AGS101, and I actually don't have any plans to get an AGS001, you have to look up footage of an AGS001 yourself for a uh, for a side by side comparison. But uh, yeah. Uh, before there's any confusion, you know, with those who are not familiar with the GBA at all, for instance, no, this is not the only version of the SP that's been released. I'd imagine that's probably obvious from the outset. Uh, there are normal variants as well. I used to have the... Which one was it? Not the Black Ox one. Uh, I think it was called Graphite. It was like this uh, silver gray and had black buttons instead of uh, 
the SpongeBob one that I have that is yellow with uh, green buttons. What I'm trying to say is that there are normal variants. Uh, and again, you can play these on the Game Boy Advance as well, which I might as well show that off as well before I uh, wrap this, this video. I think I'll use Animaniacs as an example. Yeah, it looks weird when you have a Game Boy or Game Boy Color uh, cartridge sticking out of the bottom of an SP, but keep in mind, it's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to stage it out like that. Uh, you can actually do, with Game Boy cartridges specifically on Game Boy Vans, you can do something really, really cool. You can squash and stretch the uh, resolution. Uh, you can also change the color palette of the game when it's starting up only on Game Boy cartridges, which I was trying- I was going to do that myself, but again, holding my iPad right here and pressing buttons with this hand, so I can't do that, unfortunately. I'm sorry. But yes, it stays relatively the same in terms of, like, you know, the brightness and stuff, because, you know, you're playing on AGS 101. And that exact, this exact same thing will apply to Game Boy Color games. Since, uh, like, the only thing that's actually different is Game Boy games have a set color palette, unless, you know, you change it while the game's starting up. But Game Boy Color games have, uh, a more distinct, uh, color palette. Like, they don't use, they don't, they don't just use one, they, they don't use just one color, is what I'm trying to say. I guess I should probably show that off before I wrap this video. Smurfs Nightmare, by the way. Yeah, it's in full color. Full apic colored goodness. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. I'm not entirely sure if there's anything else I have to point out. Yeah, I can't think of a can't think of anything else to say in this video, so I guess Sir Boplot signing out.